QTX SG350. It's got to be a car, isn't it? Newcomers to audio and visual recording often think of a shotgun mic being similar to a telephoto lens in photography, except that instead of making the picture bigger, it amplifies the sound of what you point it at, making the sound bigger. But that's not exactly what happens. What's going on is the microphone is picking me up from the front and rejecting the sound around it, so you can probably pick me out a little bit better here than you would do with a, an Omni mic or some other type of mic. The idea of a shotgun mic is that it rejects sound around it so that the sound in front is a lot clearer. However, not all shotgun mics reject noise as well as they could. QTX produce two shotgun microphones which for some reason you don't see often advertised around on the internet. They both retail at around £25. On Amazon, the SG300 is listed as the QTX 173.638 UK shotgun microphone. The SG350 isn't listed, but Studio Spares can get the bigger one, plus there are a few other outlets on the internet. The shorter one is 30 centimetres long, while the other is 35 centimetres long. The 300 has a slightly less tight pickup pattern than the 350. The specifications for both the 300 and 350 are the same. The main differences are in the polar patterns. So the microphone responses are 50 Hz to 18 kHz. The microphone output impedance is 230 ohms. They're both XLR connections and both use a AA battery to power them. Although both microphones have an XLR connection, they both use a AA battery, which means you can plug them straight into the camera if you want to. Noise isn't too bad if you use it that way. Um, but the other option is to um, plug the thing into um, a preamp as I have here, the Saramonic, and you can boost the gain with very, very low noise if you turn the gain down on the camera. Um, and I found that they work quite well that way. This is the QTX 350 from the front. This is the QTX 350 from the side. This is the QTX 350 from the back. And we're back to the front again. This is the QTX 300 from the front. This is the QTX 300 from the side. This is the QTX 300 from the back. And we're back to the front. Noise rejection is excellent. Just compare this to a Boyer shotgun. This is the Boyer microphone from the front. This is the Boyer microphone from the side. This is the Boyer microphone from the back. And we're back to the front again. They both have a switch in order to narrow the pickup more, but I have found that this raises the gain and also the noise floor a little too much. The tone also changes, so for me a normal setting is better. Self noise used in the normal mode is quite good in that it's low. Being a shotgun mic with strong side and back rejection makes it a very useful mic for filming because you can turn the gain up of your subject without necessarily raising the great gain of your uh, sounds around you quite as much. <laughs> 